At five, Jamie Oliver's getting all political. The chef has criticised the kitchens at 10 Downing Street, saying they're worse than in a prison. It's after he cooked for G20 leaders earlier this year. He told Jonathan Ross on his TV show last night the PM had got the worst kitchens in England. And he turned his cooking aspirations stateside, saying he'd really like to cook for American President Barack Obama and his family. In at four, comedian Alan Carr illuminates our screens every time he's on TV, and yesterday he got to illuminate a whole town. The comic switched on Blackpool's lights, which will shine for 66 days, and he got some help from boxer Ricky Hatton. The sportsman joked it makes a change putting lights on rather than putting people's lights out. At three, a couple who really got the X factor are appearing on TV tonight. The 19-year-olds, known as Combined Effort, broke up three days before their audition, and it all gets a little bit explosive when Simon Cowell asks who ended the relationship. Other highlights from tonight's show include a French waiter singing a Mariah Carey classic and 16-year-old student from South Wales. In it too, former Strictly Come Dancing finalist Lisa Snowden has said axing judge Arlene Phillips from the dance contest will change the whole dynamic of the show. Pop star Alicia Dixon is due to take over. Snowden said she thinks the singer lacks the experience of her predecessor in her ability to give constructive feedback. And at number one, the tenth series of Big Brother came to an end last night and Sophie was crowned the winner. The glamour model was the bookie's favourite but still looked shocked when her name was run out by host Davina McCall.